What's going on, YouTube? I am the one, the only, Ant-Man816, and I'm here today to bring you guys another video. So, today's video discussion is YCS Austin. This is the pre-discussion video. It happens this weekend, um, whatever this weekend is. Uh, sorry guys, I mean, y'all probably have it somewhere, probably down below. Uh, so, what do I want to talk about YCS Austin? It is the f first YCS of the new format. We've had plenty of regionals to kind of establish what kind of decks you may be good to invest in, what decks are good and what not. But again, as Team Minority SCG's V said, he didn't burp, I did. You know, they're just regionals. And he was mainly saying about windups. The fact that windups went 9-0 and shows that the deck really still has consistency. It has not died. It just needs to be built to a different way, kind of to a different play style. And it can still be very explosive, so that's always a thing. Now, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the eight decks to see. I'm not saying they'll all make it to top eight. It would be great if we really had a top eight to where it was like the evolved evolution of the eight characters from Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, the eight decks in no particular order are Prophecy, Mono Mermils, Samurai. Insectors, Dino Rabbits, Windups. Dark Worlds could be a thing, and the eighth one I really have to say is just a Rogue or a Machina deck. It could be Machina Gadgets, it could be uh, Geargia, any variant of Geargia. But yeah, so. Each deck has their strong suits, and each deck has their downfalls. Uh, and there's just so many decks out there. Like, literally, it just depends on p players' play style and preference. I mean, hell, we can see the random return of agents, just depending on the build. I know Simon He was topping a few events for, uh, for a while there using agents. Uh, you know, he just couldn't get it to the winner circle. And honestly, I don't know what deck I would like to see. I would love to see Prophecy get their first YCS, but at the same time, then all the spellbook cards have to go up because I want the spellbook cards only because I want to build Dark Magician Turbo. But that's only because of fun because I don't feel like dropping hundreds of dollars on High Priestesses. And I know winning a YCS would get them to jump up, but there's another reason why I say Samurai's are contenders, because one, Samurai's are still very explosive, but at the same time, if they could somehow manage to go Shockmaster, or if they get an Ateria Barking out, they kind of really set down, shut down plays against Prophecy. Now, Prophecies do have their outs, but yeah, if Prophecies cannot get to their spell cards, I mean, they're pretty much screwed, and... You know, Purple Seas is going to be a top contender, especially because I understand some Frog players are going to be trying to play Spell Counselor. But at the same time, as long as the Prophecy actually mains Breaker and they can actually draw into it, by the time you get Spell Counselor out, it's just kind of meh. Breaker breaks the Spell Counselor, and you're kind of just like, oh, well, now they can herp or derp on me again. Plus, um, if, you, if you looked at a lot of the different texts, Prophecies have... Uh, been running everything like that, and if they can get to it, prophecies have been kind of a problematic deck, and I honestly just can't wait to see the results of YCS often. I just really can't, guys. So I'm gonna conclude the video on that note. There's probably a bunch more I could say, but I don't want to waste up all your time. So in the ending closing part of the video, I just want to say thank you guys for watching, and I kind of have kind of another uh, shout out thing. So, if you guys don't know New Teddy Era, check him out. He's actually having a contest. Once he gets 350 subs, he's going to cut it off. And um, he's going to have surprises. I will have the link to that video down below. Make sure to go over there and participate in the contest. And because I sent you over there to get me more entries, go ahead and say Antman816 sent me. Alright, guys. I mean, you don't have to, but, you know, it's a contest. It's a free contest to enter. And just because I let you know, show some gratitude. And comment down there saying Ant-Man 816 sent me. 
Uh, so yeah, guys, remember to comment, like, uh, subscribe. There's always a move to make. Later, YouTube.